What we want to solve is the separable differential equation to this dy dx equals f of x and y. And what we want to do is how do we define the conditions for an equation to be separable? So what we need to show is that a differential equation satisfying this condition has a particular method of solution. So what is this condition under which dy dx equals f of x and y may be regarded as separable? So let's, what we want to do is find the solution to this and find the conditions for these differential equation to be separable. So we take f, x, y and say that it can be separated as two separate functions, one as a function of x and the other as a function of y, we can find a solution to this equation. So if we divide g of y in this case g of y f of x. Now we can put dx on the other side so now we have dy and g of y Notice all the single variables are on the left side and functions of x with the dx on the right side. When we do this, we can integrate both sides of this equation as follows. And what we have here is an integral in which this integral has two arbitrary constants and we can put combine these constants into one. one uh, the arbitrary constant found as a result of integrating on the left side and the arbitrary constant as a result of integrating on the right side and then we can combine those two arbitrary constants into a single one which we'll call A. So this is the required solution to this differential equation. And we're going to go through a couple examples. So let's solve the following differential equation given as x dy minus y dx is equal to zeros. Here, what we're going to rewrite it as dy dx is equal to y over x and we can see that we can separate it in as follows as 1 over x and y which is the same thing as a function of x times the function of y so f of x times g of y as shown here now we can separate the variables as follows where we have dy over y on one side and 1 over x times dx on the other side. Here we note that x should not equal 0 and y should not equal 0 because we don't want the denominator to be equal 0 in here shown in x and in y. Now we integrate both sides of this equation and what we have is the logarithm uh, the natural logarithm of the absolute value of y as well as the natural logarithm of the absolute value of x and we have to add an arbitrary constant c for the constant of integration however we would like to express y as a function of x and in this case it would lead to the following here we can see that the log of y take the exponential on both sides as follows e to the natural logarithm of x plus c we can split this up into e natural logarithm let me put the absolute value here for x and the absolute value for y x times e c 
Now we note that the operation of exponential and natural log logarithm cancels each other out, so that leaves the absolute value of y equals absolute value of x, and we can say that EC is basically another constant which we'll call C1. So we'll put a C1 right here. And then we can take this solution, get rid of the absolute value such that y is equal to plus or minus C1 times x. And that's our solution to this equation right here. Now we can verify the solution by substituting appropriately up there and we'll see that it does and hence this solution is a solution to this differential equation shown here and here's our solution right here.